starting to see a pattern here. 40. 80 would be 40 times the second power of 10. 90 would be 45 times the second power of 10. And 100 would be 5 times the third power of 10. Or if we're following the pattern where we're halving and then multiplying it times the second power of 10, it would be 50 times the second power of 10. 21 is one roll equals 40 quarters. So think about it, 40 quarters per roll times 20. That's the same thing if we go to our basic facts using the four and the two, so four times two, and then again, we're multiplying 10 times 10, or the second power of 10. So 20 is, as they've put it here, eight times 10, or the second power of 10. 30 is 12 times the second power of 10. 40 is 16 times the second power of 10. 50 is 20 times the second power of 10. 60 is 24 times the second power of 10. 70 is 28 times the second power of 10. 80 is 32 times the second power of 10. 90 is 36 times the second power of 10, and 100 is 40 times the second power of 10, or also 4 times the third power of 10. At number 22, we have 80 times 6. Another way to write that would be 48 times the first power of 10. 70 times 80 is 56. 7 times 8 is 56, and then we're going to multiply that. We have two zeros times the second power of 10. They've already done 800 by 880, which is 64 times the third power of 10. See, 1, 2, 3 zeros. 9,000 times 80. 9 times 8 is 72, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So it's going to be times the fourth power of 10. Now I'm on this one, 90 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54 times, I have one zero, so it's going to be the first power of 10. And then I have 70 times 90. 7 times 9 is 63 times, I have two zeros, so that's going to be the second power of 2. Now I have 800 times 90. 8 times 9 is 72, and I have 1, 2, 3 zeros, so that's going to be t the third power of 10, and they did the last problem for you, 9,000 times 90, 9 times 9 is 81, and there are three zeros here and one zero there, so it's going to be the fourth power of 10. Number 24, what if you magnify the image of a cluster fly by 9 times the third power of 10, what would the length be? Well, a cluster fly, fly is 9, and 9 times 9 is 81, and if it's by the third power of 10, then that means I'm going to have three zeros, so it's going to be 81,000, and what is the length that I'm magnifying it in? Length in millimeters, so I need to make sure that I label it millimeters. If you magnify the image of a fire ant by 4 times the third power of 10, and a tree hopper by 3 times the third power of 10, which insect would appear to be longer? Well, 4 times 10, or the third power of 10, is a fire ant, and a fire ant is 4. So, 4 times 4 is 12, or 16, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, multiply ten times the um, power of the third power of 10 is going to give me three zeros. So that's going to be 16,000. If I'm looking at the tree hopper, the tree hopper is six millimeters and I want to multiply that three times the third power of 10. So six times three is 18 and it's to the third power of three. So I'm going to have three zeros, that's 18,000. Which insect would appear longer? It's going to be 18,000. So that's going to be my tree hopper. And 
18,000 from 16,000 is 2,000 millimeters longer. Number 26, John wants to magnify the image of a fire ant and a crab spider, so they appear to be the same length. How many times their actual size would he need to magnify each length or each image? Well, the fire ant is four millimeters and the crab spider is five millimeters. millimeters. So I want to try and find a product that they have in common. Well, four and five both go into 20 equally. So if I wanted to make these multiplied by something that's going to give me 20, I know that 4 times 5 is 20, and 5 times 4 is 20. So that means I would need to multiply the fire ant, or magnify the fire ant, 5 times, and I would need to multiply the crab spider 4 times. And then they would both have the magnification of 20, which would be the same. What does the product of any whole number factor multiplied by 100 always have? Explain. It always has zeros in the tens and the ones place value position. Since 100 has two zeros, the product of 100 and any whole number will always have at least two zeros. Test prep. How many zeros are in the product 5 times 4 times the fourth power of 10? Well, 5 times 4 is 20. And the fourth power of 10 is going to give me four more zeros. One, two, three, four. So the answer is 200,000. The amount of zeros it's going to have is one, two, three, four, five. The answer is C, five. Blood cells. Blood is necessary for all human life. It contains red blood cells and white blood cells that nourish and cleanse the body and palates that stop bleeding, or platelets that stop bleeding. The average adult life has about five liters of blood. Use the pattern in mental math to solve. Number 29, a human body has about 30 times as many platelets as white blood cells. A, sample, a small sample of blood has eight times the third power of 10 white blood cells. About how many platelets are in the sample? So if I'm looking at the platelets, I have 30 times eight times 10 to the third power. So I'm gonna do my basic math. Three times eight is 24. Sorry, 24. 30 times 8, however, is 240. Now, if I'm multiplying that to the time, the third power of 10, I'm going to add three more zeros. 1, 2, 3 for my third power of 10. So I should get 240,000 platelets. Remember to always label. Number 30. Basophils and monocytes are types of white blood cells. A blood sample has about five times as many monocytes as basophils. There are 60 basophils in the same sample. How many monocytes are there? Five times six is 30, and five times 60 would give me 300 monocytes. Litmocytes and anophiles are types of white blood cells. A blood sample has about 10 times as many litmocytes as anophiles. If there are 2 times the second power of 10 anophiles in the same samples, how many lymphocytes are there? Let me move this up a little. Well, 2 times 10 is 20. And then I'm multiplying by the second power of 10, so I'm going to add two more zeros. So the answer is 2,000 lymphocytes. An average person has six to times the second power of 10 times as many red blood vessel cells as white blood vessel cells. A small sample of blood vessel, small sample of blood has seven times the third power of 10 white blood cells. About how many red blood cells are there in the sample? Well, 6 times 7 is 42. 
and I have the second power of 10 and the third power of 10. So this one gives me three zeros, and that one gives me two zeros. So all together, I'm going to have five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have 4,200,000 red blood cells. What I want you to do right now is complete your math homework in your homework book for 1.5. If you finish that, then you may go on to one of the math apps that I made available to you yesterday and practice your math facts.